Hi you guys, Anita Buffum here and welcome to, um, well I guess it's not my use, it's YouTube's and the in Institute, Instagram's. IGTV. Right, okay, so, um, hi guys, I'm Anita Buffum, welcome to Buffum Beautiful, and today, um, you know, you guys love Anita Does, and that's where my producer, honey, he tells me what she does, and I does it, and I don't know what it's going to be, so we're going to do, today we're doing what, honey? Well, today, because LGBT Pride... Pride Month is coming up. Yeah. Oh, you're right there. Uh, Pride Month is coming. For the gays. For the gays. And it's World Pride. Have you ever had this in a can? I have. Rosé. Rosé bubbles in a can. Oh, that's nice. I thought it was very um, white trash until I saw Pierce Hilton had it. And then, well, I mean, hello. All right, go ahead. So, okay. 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 The, the gays. Okay. So, so it is World Pride in New York City this year. And the trans, honey. And got, the trans. Um, well, that's the T in LGBT. Right, and then the L is for the... Um, Lesbians? Yeah, and then L... G? Is for the gays. Yeah. And the B is for the bisexuals, and yeah. T is for trans. And then they yeah. got the Q. Yeah. Which is, I think it's just a... a it's for people that are weird. Yeah, queer, they're weird, they're strange. They're kind of funny, you know. And then the L B Q I, I mean, which is um, the interstate... Interstate inter circles. Intersex. Now, you have to forgive me because Donahue's not on anymore. Neither is Jenny Jones. So I don't know. They don't, because Jenny Jones and Donahue used to talk about all this stuff, guys. So I don't know about these things because they don't okay. talk about it. So interstate, interstate Intersex. sexuals. Yeah. And then, that's where you go inside yourself to pleasure yourself? Um, no, but we'll talk about that later. And then there's A, yeah. which is asexual. Well, that's everybody. Everybody's a sexual. Okay. So they right. had, they had one like the rainbow over there because my nephew, my nephew Joey, he, he's a gay, he's a gay too. He's gay. And um, so I know about Pride because yeah. I told I told him a few years ago I'd take him out, and um, we went to the East Village there uh, to a place called the Cock over there. Uh, and of course, I'm a gay icon, so we went all over because you know I used to model for J.C. Penney, so all the gays recognized me. And um, so I brought him in there, and we had a great time. Okay. He got lost in there. I lost him for a few hours, but it's fine. I had a good time. Okay. World Pride, New York City, and it's the 50th anniversary of Stonewall. Oh, my God. Can you believe it? And so we are going to do the Cause history. Because they, they decided there, because Judy Garland, she died. And the gays love Judy. They said, let's pick a day to celebrate. We might as well pick the day. It's like hitting two birds with one stone. They got it all taken care of. They picked the day that Judy died so they could celebrate, um, you know, being gay. Yes. So we're going today, Anita does, the history of the hanky code. What's the end? Hey? Well, do you want to read about it? Hanky code. Untucking the queer history of the colorful hanky code. First popularized in the 70s, the hanky code began as a sly way to showcase sexual preferences for a community still largely in the closet. Black, blue, red, purple, and many other colors of hankies found their way into the back pockets of the LGBTQ community. All right. So do you get it? No. Okay, so back in the day... 70s, yeah. In the 70s, people in the LGBT community had to put a handkerchief. Uh, listen. Like a bandana. I ain't gonna tell you, there's nothing wrong with being gay. All right? We'll just clear that up right now. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. You know? No, clearly you don't. No, I mean, it's not like gay people are Mexican. Right. Which I don't have a problem with Mexicans either. I mean, Maria, my housemate, Maria Consuelo Gonzalez Fernando Muchacho Lopez Sanchez Garcia Vega Smith, she could be a lesbian for all I know. I don't care. I don't care. She could be a lesbian. I don't care. So, back in the 70s, yeah. uh, people in the LGBT community had to wear a, a colorful handkerchief or a bandana in their back pocket. Like when the Jews wore the, had to, had to wear the... Not, not so much like that. But yeah. So, they wear it to indicate to other people in the LGBT community that they were gay too, and then they could either be friends or... Yeah, this is what I don't understand. It's, okay, that, this is throwing me for a little bit of a loop, because I can walk around, and I can pinpoint on with dead on accuracy, the gays around me. I mean, it's easy to tell a well, gay maybe in the from 70s, a non-gay. Well, maybe in the 70s it was... Honey, that's, that's racist, because you mean to tell me back in the 70s there weren't effeminate men? Well, but you wanted to be sure, and so this handkerchief... Well, honey, hello? Well, 
you had a crush on effeminate men who ended up being gay. You yeah, yeah but that's different. You didn't even know they were gay. Yeah, but honey, that's different. Jim J. Bullock was an actor, honey. Okay. But all, all act is a little, you know, creative, you know? Yeah. How are you supposed to know? That's different. That's a horse of a different color. Anyway, so people would wear different colors of handkerchief to indicate what they were into in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. So different colors meant different things, and which side of your back pocket you put How it on. How many ways can there be to do it, honey? Well, let me in show a, you. In or out. I don't understand. Let me show you, because you can see the different colors, and you can see what all the codes are. There's a lot of colors here, if you even want to show. All right. So pick a color, and just tell us what... Well, let's go for the right here. Okay. So there's red. Red. Okay. Red says here... This... All right, you know, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, but I'm not one to judge people on what they like to do. You know, I, I judge with my eyes, but that's it. In fact, Father Murphy Brown tells me when I go down to confessional there, he says, I know about somebody that judges like you. Okay, red, and then orange. Orange. Okay, orange. Orange means anything, anytime. Ooh. Oh, but now hold on a minute here. There's different meanings. Depending on, Depending on where you wear it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hold on, guys. All right, so if you wear it on the left, honey, anything, anytime, okay? You're, you're a whore, okay? And then if you wear it on the other side, the right side, it means nothing now. Nothing now. Leave me the hell alone. But that's weird because... Don't wear one at all. I mean, hello? All right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Roy. Yellow. Roy, Roy. Wear it on the left... Uh, piss of water sports, okay? And then on, which, okay, so piss of water, that must be like jet skiing, water, boarding. Well, I'll, I'll explain it to you later. All right. Okay, and then the other side, is, it means piss freak. It means... Honey, that's not sexual. To some. It's biological, honey. All right, so Rory... Roy J. Green. All right, now they don't have just green here. They got a bunch of different ones. Kelly Green, Hunter Green, Drab Olive. Green. Leave it to the gays. Drab Olive. That's a color. Or Lime Green. Which one? I would do Kelly Green. All right, Kelly Green. Didn't you go to school with me? I did. Kelly Green Jenkins. Okay, so on the left, it means you're a hustler for rent. I did that for a little while. Unbeknownst to me, I had... I. I was auditioning for a, a show, and the director, he, there were some guys that came in, an exchange of money happened. I didn't, hey, I didn't know. I was just trying to get the part. Okay. And then the other, on the other side, it says John, looking to buy. Maybe look for real estate. Good for her. I don't know. G, green, blue. Now, no, no regular blue here. Teal, light with a white stripe. Air Force Blue, Navy Blue, Medium Blue, Robin's Egg Blue, or Light Blue. I feel like your favorite of those is Teal. I do like a Teal, but not on this one. It's a little muted, but it's okay. All right, Teal. Oh, this is what we were talking about the other day with the CBD oil. But this is, like, Fifty Shades, CB, this is CBT. Oh. And if you wear it on the left, it says you're the torturer. Okay. And the other, the other side means you said torturery, honey. Nance, torturery, torturer. I don't know. And then it's not on your shirt, but the last color is purple, so you might as well. Oh, all right. Why would they leave the purple off your shirt? I don't know, honey. Violet is the color. Violet in the rainbow, but that's not on. Why so? Is this not official, honey? I don't know. Well, there's no purple. Hey, there's no purple on here either. Oh yeah, there is. Hold on. Well, this is boring. Piercer. If you wear it on this side and on here, piercer. Can I get Claire's Boutique? I guess, honey. I don't know. There's a lot of... I mean, the look, it's endless. The list is endless, honey. There's so many choices on here. We'll just pick a random one. From. All right. Well, let's see what Drab all of is, honey. Oh, military top. It means you're the top of the military, and then the other side, you're military bottom. So you had to fail out or something. I don't know. I, honey, I got a cousin at West Point. And I, I wonder if he's a top. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. Happy Pride. I love you so much. Be sure to lead with love and positivity, and you will be buff and beautiful. <laughs> Honey, that's, that's racist, because that's racist. You... <laughs> I stop.
racist because you <laughs> oh. 